हेलो चिल्ड्रन वेलकम टू तोगन शरान टीम यूट्यूब चैनल सो वेलकम बैक इट्स बीन वेरी लॉन्ग सिंस आई अपलोडेड अ वीडियो क्लास आई नो टुडेज वीडियो इज स्पेशली फॉर ग्रेड फॉर चिल्ड्रन आई सी एस ई बोर्ड ग्रेड फॉर चिल्ड्रन एंड द सब्जेक्ट दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डील टूडे इज सोशल साइंस आई एम डूइंग दिस video today because i got request from so many children regarding the complexity of this subject so i thought i could share what i know regarding the subject i think at the end of this video you will get something some information or some knowledge i wanted to help you that's why i am doing this video children uh this video will not be a full length video i am planning to do this video in parts okay consider this like series series 1 series 2 series 3 likewise this video will be series 1 so my plan is to take chapter 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 today's video will be on chapter 10 political divisions of north india but before that we have some i have something to give introduction india i n d i a india india is the country where we live so as the people of india as indians we should know about our country how many states are there in india how many union territories are there in india which all are the districts or which all are the important or famous cities or towns in a particular state and the weather the crops that are grown in that particular state then the occupation of the people the food that they eat the religion that they follow so many criteria are there when we learn a particular state the rivers that flow through that particular state Uh, then what so many things the monuments the buildings that is built in that particular state the history of that particular state uh, so many things we have to know when we learn india my question to start today's class the question i have to ask with, with you is how many states and union territories are there in india can anyone answer the correct answer is according to my knowledge there are 28 states and 8 union territories in india if there is any correction to this you can definitely comment on this video okay today we will try to understand the states that are there in the north india all the north indian states okay chapter number is 10 page number is 84 political divisions of north india and i am referring to my world and i social studies for primary school monisha sharma amita prasad and, Sh- and sheila ramakrishnan's book special edition okay i'm just quoting the textbook that's it oxford university press so let's move on the north indian states are jammu and kashmir ladakh हिमाचल प्रदेश उत्तराखंड चंडीगढ़ पंजाब हरियाणा दिल्ली, उत्तर प्रदेश बट बिफोर डिस्कसिंग और बिफोर गोइंग ऑन इन डिटेल आई वांट यू टू टेक द पिक्चर ऑफ इंडिया मैप एंड कीप इट विथ यू सो दैट यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड much more better so first one is jammu and kashmir okay jammu and kashmir is a union territory now what is the difference between a state and a union territory i think i have already uploaded a video regarding this in state there will be a governing body like i'm taking the example of kerala i'm from kerala in kerala there is a chief minister and there will be certain ministers 
and those ministers will be um uh, what to say coming on duty uh, because of the people it is the people who uh, select who to stand who to govern them through election by voting system people are selecting who to come in authority who to govern that particular state who is capable it is people who chooses okay so what to say in state there will be somebody to govern it is that governing body who governs but uh, there is limitation to this governing body also okay just they will be ruling that governing body will be ruling that particular state uh, following some certain rules from the authority now union territory means in union territory there will not be this governing body no chief minister no ministers but it is the center central government who directly governs the union territory for example as a whole india has got a president prime minister you know that right finance minister central government authorities will directly govern this union territories but that is not in the case of states in the case of states there there will be a governing body itself they follow the rules and they govern accordingly now jammu and kashmir is a union territory to understand more about jammu and kashmir jammu and kashmir is in the mountainous parts of india okay jammu and kashmir is lying in the mountain part of india in jammu and kashmir there will be a lot of mountains and it is said that uh below mountains below hills the winter season will be very cold and the summer season will be very cool not hot cool and of course there will be rain in the monsoon season they are said that uh, you know that right when we take the case of mountains there are higher mountains lower mountains that you know i think so the highest mountains will always be very cold and snow covered the capital of jammu and kashmir when we say it has got two capitals srinagar and jammu srinagar is the summer capital and jammu is the winter capital why two capitals it is because what to say the geographical challenges and weather conditions sometimes um, if it is uh, too cold too heavy no fault if they are experiencing it would be very difficult for the vehicles to move through the road as snowfall will of course be there that will restrict the movement of the vehicles through the roads so the goods the transportation of goods will be very difficult so if one road is blocked if one capital is blocked they of course has got another uh, capital they can use that way for the transportation of goods that's it okay mm, then what to say about jammu and kashmir jammu and kashmir is a beautiful place the rivers that flow through jammu and kashmir are if you have atlas with you please open the atlas book and check which all rivers are flowing through jammu and kashmir it is actually the river indus jhelum and tavi and when we talk about the natural vegetation in jammu and kashmir it is coniferous there are coniferous trees grassy slopes and chinar trees why coniferous trees are there in jammu and kashmir why coniferous trees are grown in plenty in jammu and kashmir you know the meaning of coniferous trees right coniferous trees means the christmas trees uh what ulta we the capital letter we if it is placed ulta 
that is coniferous tree the shape of coniferous tree why coniferous tree i'll tell i said of course in winter season there will be heavy snowfall so when the snow is falling through the coniferous trees through these slopes it can glide and go down smoothly that's why the shape is helping the snow you understood right i don't know how to explain more now another thing that we can find natural vegetation in jammu and kashmir is grassy slopes of course there are mountains in mountains there of course there are slopes and in that slopes there will be grass we could see we can see grass that are grown in plenty and chinar trees of course we can find in jammu and kashmir now the crops that are grown in jammu and kashmir in most north indian states we can find the crop wheat that is grown that can grow why wheat is growing in no, uh, growing in plenty in north india is of course because of the climate the climate supports the growth of wheat all the crops need what to say a certain amount of sunlight a certain amount of water a certain amount of what to say what all are supporting the growth of wheat it is there in jammu and kashmir i'm not not only talking about wheat in which all particular states what all crops are growing all that crops are growing in that particular state because the climate supports that growth understood now next thing that is growing in jammu and kashmir is rice of course then saffron you know what saffron is right saffron is a very expensive um uh, it's a um uh, very expensive flower and what to say in the stigma of the saffron flower there will be an orange color thing it will be a lengthy thin line like thin people are collecting that thing and they are what to say they are using that as a spice they are adding it in milk and drinking drinking and the it is said that i don't know it's real or not i'm just quoting what my mother said to me this pregnant ladies if they add saffron to the milk and if they drink it will be good for a very healthy baby it will help it bringing out a very healthy baby i don't know it's a myth or i don't know i'm just telling then more about jammu and kashmir is the rivers there are actually two main rivers that are grown that are flowing in jammu and kashmir first is jhelum jhelum river is flowing through srinagar and tavi river is flowing through Jhelum is flowing through Srinagar and Tavi is flowing through Jammu. Indus is flowing through Ladakh. Okay. And Ladakh is also of course I forgot to mention about Ladakh. Ladakh is also there in North India. And about natural vegetation we already talked. Coniferous trees are there of course in Jammu and Kashmir. Grassy slopes are there. and rocky land is there in jammu and kashmir rocky land means the land full of rocks nothing will grow in that particular land chinar trees are also there in the picture of chinar trees are shown in your textbook please kindly observe the picture that is given now crops wheat and rice are grown on terraced field what is terraced farming i'll explain what terraced farming is this term is very important what is terraced farming how many of you have visited a tea plantation in munnar or some in kerala vagaman munnar there we could we can find tea plantation not only in kerala so many places we can find tea plantation how many of you watching this video have visited 
ടീ പ്ലാന്റേഷൻ ഐ ഹാവ് വിസിറ്റഡ് വാഗമൺ ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് പ്ലേസ് ഐ കുഡ് സീ സോ മെനി ടീ പ്ലാന്റേഷൻ ഏരിയാസ് ലാൻഡ് ഹൗ ദേ ആർ ഡൂയിങ് ദ ടീ പ്ലാന്റേഷൻ ദേ ആർ ഗ്രോയിങ് ദ ടീ പ്ലാൻസ് ബൈ ഇൻ സച്ച് എ വേ ദാറ്റ് സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ബൈ സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ദേ ആർ ഡൂയിങ് ഫ്രം ദ ടോപ്പ് സ്റ്റെപ്പ് a step that they are creating a step step like they are gr- growing these plants and finally coming to the bottom from the top staircase like staircase uh, how will i explain like it will be in the shape of a circle in that circle ah best example i can give this football auditoriums you might have seen football matches cricket patches how the auditorium is how they have built the auditorium the shape will of course be circle and in that cir- uh, circle steps will be there that is coming down from the top understood think about that and in that steps they are cultivating tea plants now i think terrace to farming like terrace step by step hill slopes are cut into terraces or steps to make fields on which to grow crops saffron is a very expensive spice that people use in dishes like pulao and this saffron is we are getting even in kerala we can buy saffron from the shops but that spice is very expensive as it is coming from the <coughs> jammu and kashmir from the north and it's very rare people are using it dishes also like pulao uh, and in jammu and kashmir we can find so many orchards fruit orchards okay cherry orchard we can find so many tr- cherries grown in trees peaches orchards we can find apple orchards of course we can find almond orchards walnut orchards we can find so many orchards fruits especially Jammu and Kashmir's climate support fruit growth. Then uh, you know the uses of almonds, you know the uses of eating walnuts, you know the uses of eating cherries, you know the uses of eating peaches, apple. It is said that an apple a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> I don't know if it's correct or not. So now the occupation of the people in jammu and kashmir are mainly agriculture and handicrafts now the second north indian state is himachal pradesh himachal pradesh is a very beautiful state let's see the capital the main important cities the rivers the natural vegetation the crops the occupation of the people in himachal pradesh okay the capital of himachal pradesh is shimla many people from kerala are going to shimla to enjoy the weather mainly shimla is covered with snow i think enjoy uh, for, i i know the people who are going to uh, shimla for enjoying vacation because mainly because of the weather okay so shimla is the capital of himachal pradesh and uh, what to say so many places in himachal pradesh are tourist places kulu you might have heard about kulu so many people are going to kulu for vacation for enjoying vacation manali you know many people are going to manali for enjoying vacation you might have heard about this tourist packages tour packages to kulu manali you might have heard right then kangra kufri all these are tourist places many tourists are coming to these places for enjoying their holidays their vacations and all next important town that we can find in himachal pradesh is dharamshala it's a place for what to say buddhist so many buddhist we can find in dharamshala next we can talk about the rivers that flow through himachal pradesh first is satluj next is bees next is ravi all these rivers flow through the slopes of the hills in himachal pradesh now next is the natural vegetation the trees that we can find in himachal pradesh first is 
पाइन ट्रीज वी कैन फाइंड दियोदार ट्रीज वी कैन फाइंड साल ट्रीज वी कैन फाइंड देन वॉट एंड पीपल आर यूजिंग द वुड फ्रॉम द ट्रीज फॉर मेकिंग फर्नीचर्स एंड फॉर मेकिंग हैंडी क्राफ्ट मेनली पाइन ट्रीज दियोदार ट्रीज साल ट्रीज वी कैन फाइंड इन हिमाचल प्रदेश नेक्स्ट इज द क्रोप्स विच ऑल क्रॉप्स आर देयर इन हिमाचल प्रदेश फर्स्ट इज वीट नेक्स्ट इज कॉर्न नेक्स्ट इज पोटैटो ऑल दीज क्रॉप्स आर ग्रोइंग इन प्लेट इन हिमाचल प्रदेश बिकॉज द क्लाइमेट सपोर्ट इट्स ग्रोथ नेक्स्ट इज वी कैन फाइंड फ्रूट्स ऑल्सो आई थिंक वॉट आई कम टू अंडरस्टैंड वेन वी टॉक अबाउट फ्रूट्स इज इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर द फ्रूट्स आर ग्रोइंग इन हिमाचल प्रदेश द फ्रूट्स आर ग्रोइंग द मेन क्लाइमेट ऑफ बोथ दीज प्लेस आर कोल्ड स्नो आई थिंक द कोल्ड क्लाइमेट सपोर्ट्स द ग्रोथ ऑफ फ्रूट्स एप्रिकोड्स आर ग्रोइंग इन हिमाचल प्रदेश प्लम्स आर ग्रोइंग एप्पल्स आर ग्रोइंग पीचेस आर ग्रोइंग दैट्स इट नो ऑक्यूपेशन ऑफ द पीपल ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश आर फर्स्ट इज फार्मिंग ऑफ कोर्स then jam making is there juice making is there because so many fruits are growing in himachal pradesh that's why now uttarakhand is the next north indian state the capital of uttarakhand is dehradun you might have heard about dehradun now the two important or two famous cities in uttarakhand is musauri and nainital okay and you might have heard about a holy city that is called haridwar it is there in uttarakhand the rivers that flow through uttarakhand is ganga flows flows yamuna flows alaganda flows bagirathi flows and several other rivers also flow through you check your atlas and find tell me the names of the rivers that flow through uttarakhand next is natural vegetation in the natural vegetation of uttarakhand is mainly deciduous trees and thorn forest now the crops potatoes are grown in plenty corn is growing in plenty different kinds of fruits are also growing in plenty in uttarakhand now the occupation of the people is of course farming on terraced fields terraced farming and jam making and juice making that's it i'm ending today's video this is enough and we'll continue in next video if you have any doubt please comment and ask i will always be there for help